Hi, in this video we'll talk about the process of installation of a single ply TPL roof system. This material is well known for its high resistance against the weather exposure and its higher solar reflectance when compared to the rolled asphalt materials. The process of its installation consists of the following. First, if it's an old roof, it has to be removed. Once the roof deck is free of any debris, we install the roof underlayment which consists of 4 by 8 sheets of insulation, quarter inch thick or greater. In this process, the underlayment insulation gets attached to the roof with manufacturers approved fasteners and forced with metal plates. We then apply a roll of single ply starting from the lowest point where water drains and then we'll work our way up with the subsequent rolls of single ply material. To minimize the amount of seams, these rolls come as wide as 5 feet or 10 feet. The next roll of single ply material gets placed 6 inch overlapped to be able to get at least a 3 inch weld at the seam as required by the manufacturer. All these rows of single ply, as well as next to any roof to wall transition, curve, or penetration pipes, get attached onto the roof with same manufacturer's approved fasteners reinforced with barbed metal plates. All perfect walls and curves of any kind, for example skylights, chimneys, or AC units, get the single ply material fully adhered onto the wall with bonding adhesive. To seal all the seams, material gets stacked to enclose the hot air for welding and avoid any bubbles. The most common methods for welding are using an automatic hot air welder for faster welding at long seams, or using a heat gun hand welder which requires a properly rolling over the welding material to secure a monolithic bond. All penetration pipes get sealed by placing a compatible single ply boot flashing over the pipe and welding it onto the new single ply membrane. We apply a detailed membrane patch over vulnerable areas such as corners or T-joints. If there are any drains or scuppers in the roof, they get properly placed and welded onto the roof with compatible single ply material. Then we do our final cleanup and walkthrough to make sure nothing is left behind. There are some other methods of installation, but this is the most common one for its quick and practical installation. 